So we are here for another installment of our cherry recipe series and uh, holiday recipe series. And we're here again with Kathy and Jason. Uh, Kathy Barstad, Kath, you have been the Cherry Public for how long? 12 years now. 12 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. and Started out in, at the Christmas holiday season and oh. just kept on rolling. Even dozen. Okay, yeah, yeah. nice, nice. And she is our, our manager, of course, uh, general manager of the Glen Arbor campus. And Jason Homa is our VP of Sales and Service, and you've also been here a number of years. 16 years or something 16. around. Yeah. Sweet 16. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Well, today we are making um, a holiday recipe that was actually submitted by one of our citizen fans. Um, we did a little recipe contest on our social media channels. And um, Shannon Murphy, nice Irish lass. Lass? Can be a lass if you're Irish? Okay. Shannon submitted a recipe for hot cherry cheese dip. Yep. Sounds great. So tell us a little about what we're going to be making today. Well, what's going to be fun about this recipe is we haven't tried it yet, <laughs> Shannon. So uh, <laughs> at the end of this, though. we'll find out. We think it's going to be great, though. Yeah. Um, it's got, but again, uh, with all of our uh, recipes in our cooking segments. We're trying to make them simple, easy, and this certainly fits the bill. She did a nice job putting together something that's just more about assembly and yeah. heating up than it is about needing to be a like fantastic cook. So it's pretty right. cool. Right. Um, so that's what we'll get at. Uh, it features two of our products, our original cherry salsa mm -hmm. and also our dried cherries as more of a garnish, but they both come in and it, uh, looking forward to trying this out. Okay, get cooking. Okay. Yep. Okay, so for this recipe, we have a can of black beans that are uh, drained and washed. Uh, we have two cups of a sharp cheddar cheese. Um, we have some dried cherries, and these are chopped up real quickly uh, with a knife. Uh, we have eight ounces of cream cheese, a jar and a half, so we have a 16 ounce jar and another eight ounce jar of our original cherry salsa, a little salt and pepper, and uh, a little green onion to uh, garnish at the end. What's nice about this recipe is it's got a one dish recipe, so everything will go in here, it'll pop in the oven, be stirred up, and it's all set to go, so very easy. So we're gonna put this together. It's really just about assembly, so. Um, Great, I think that's we'll my kind of cooking. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, let's see it happen mm -hmm. then, okay? <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is the um, cream cheese, gonna go in, get mashed up in the pan. Could you stand any farther away from I it? Think, uh, there we go. All right. I don't have the chef's jacket on, but I'm going to give this a whirl. Looks like a nice little cream cheese pie at this point. Okay. And then next we're adding the salsa. So we have a large jar of the original cherry salsa and another eight ounces in the smaller jar. So go ahead and put that in and Shannon asks us to mix it up nice and thoroughly there. I'll take that from you. You can make a mess out of yourself. Great, that. Then next we're adding the black beans and mixing thoroughly. And again, what's nice about this dish is it's a one dish sort of process. Everything's just cooked together, so when it comes out of the oven, it'll be nice and bubbly. All right. We're good? And yep. Okay. Oh, Did the sharp cheddar cheese. <laughs> Why don't you go for that? So we have an onion preheated here at about 350 degrees and we're gonna pop that in for about 45 minutes and everything will get nice and come together there. All right, so finito. Almost. Yes. Okay, what else? Is it well, it looks great. First of all, it all came together, melted up, nice and mixed up, gooey, cheesy stuff. Um, a little black pepper I like to throw on the end there just to give it a little more seasoning. 
and then her recipe called for some chopped dried cherries to go over the top give it some more color and Never fruitiness too many cherries. no I know so <laughs> it's probably about half cup of this again just chop it quickly with your knife and then for a little extra color um, for the season a little green onion over the top as well just kind of dresses it up and spoon to serve out of oh, yeah, I'm not sure. yeah. And then scoops. Shannon recommended the scoop type chips with I, I think yeah. that's important. Yeah, because it's pretty uh, wet and loose. loose. All right. I'm trying some too. Great. Great. All right. Oh my gosh, it's steaming hot. Jason, no? You passing? I had some as we went uh -huh. along, believe me. All I right. cheated a bit. Cheers. Right, cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Shannon. Thanks. <laughs>